Welcome back, everybody. Today I am doing core and more. So we have eight exercises um, in the first set, and then well, a total of 16 exercises. Okay, let me just make it plain. <laughs> total of 16 exercises broken down into two groups. Okay, so the first eight will be done 30 seconds each. Three sets. It's not gonna be pretty, but we're gonna keep moving and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna laugh through it and we're gonna do this together because we're both here for a reason to see change in our bodies and not to be doing it all alone so let's get started um you need a mat and a towel that's it mat and a towel i'm always looking this way because i think the camera's over here but the camera's over there <laughs> let's go So we're going to start out with a um, plank hold. So we're going to turn over, face down. Let's go. <laughs> so plank hold. We're all starting modified. And I'm starting modified because we're going to progress it. So 30 seconds on your mod. Get set. Go. So modified, plank hold. Your rear end is not high. Okay, you want your shoulders stacked over the elbows. You want to squeeze your tush. Every time you exhale, you pull the abs in tighter. Suck the rib cage in deeper. Squeeze your glutes tighter. Good smile. Your neck is a part of your spine, right? So don't drop your head. Keep it lifted. And really, just release down just like that. So the next move is we have plank knee lift, single leg one at a time. So you're back in your plank position, you're going to alternate a knee lift, right and left or left and right. Just keep the abs pulled in. Ready, set, go. Alternate the knee lift. I'm going to lift my legs, squeeze, squeeze. I need you to squeeze your glutes, press back to the heel of your foot as you lift and pull your belly button in. Your shoulders should be pulling down away from your ears and just alternate that knee lift up. Don't worry, if it's easy to set, it won't be for the next. Relax. Woo. Cobra stretch if you like while you're here, right? Get a little stretch to that rectus abdominis. Third set, plank knee lifts, double, both knees, Come off the mat, same time. Let's get set. Squeeze your tush. Let's go. Lift, lower. That's the mat, that's not me, that's the mat. Gently tap and lift. I've already shown you the modification, right? You can single lift the knee up, or you can hold plank, single leg, lower. And relax. Feel free to sit back into child pose. Whew, good job. All right, so next we have supine plank, hold. So supine, we flip over, flip it over. So again, my wrists are a little tired from yesterday's or my, I, I recorded strong and something else, insanity. So my wrists are like, ugh. I'll do it as long as I can, but I'm gonna show you the move and you keep moving. Supine plank hold. Looks like this. Feet flat. Lift. I just want you to hold. Try to drive your hips up as high as possible. Pull your shoulders back and open the chest. Your head is not hanging, resting on a pillow. Open your shoulders. Lift the hips up. Come on. Hips up, hips up. We're opening the front of that body, engaging the back side of our core. Squeeze and gently release. Feel free to roll those shoulders out and about, shake it out. Whatever makes you feel good. 
stay down. So the next move um, is your supine plank, lift and lower. So here we go. So you get in that same position as before, and we're gonna drop the hips down and lift back up. Ready, set, go. So lift, lower. Lift, squeeze. I need you to keep trying to press higher and higher. Down, up. You might feel stress in those shoulders, right? Your chest is tight. This is gonna help loosen up your shoulders, chest. And then you're driving up through the hamstrings, glutes. So your glute muscles help stabilize your hips. So uh, please do them and relax. Very nice. All righty, roll those shoulders out. If your wrists are a little tight, roll them out. Give them a little press. Very good. So the next move is a supine plank march. So you're gonna alternate lifting the knees up, right and left. You're gonna try to keep your hips up nice and high. So you ready, set, go. So you're back up, march. Don't slam your leg or foot back to the mat. Gently place it, hips up. Keep resetting, up. Reset, hips up. Pull your belly buttons in. And relax. Woo! So that was number six. So we have two more before we repeat from the top. You're so excited. So excited. Tabletop, knee drops. Look, look. So we're gonna go to the right side only. Feel free to choose left. Yes, I have on my, uh, that thing around my waist. All right, so legs up. You're gonna knee drop only to the same side. Try to keep getting a bigger range of motion. Ready, set, go. Arms out, twist, pull back up. Try to keep your knees together. Opposite shoulder stays down on the mat. That limits your range of motion. If your shoulder's coming up, what good is that? You're not getting a full um, extension through the obliques or contraction. Squeeze those knees together. Legs, heels together. Finish your last one, relax. You know what we gotta do to the other side. Are you ready? Set, legs up, go. Get your knees all the way to the mat for a big range of motion. As you exhale, really pull that belly button in. Woo. Last one, finish it and relax. Good, rock and roll to the top. Guess what? Set one down, set two. Owned it. Starting with that plank hold, modified position. If you wanna take it up to a full plank, feel free to do it, but eventually we're gonna get there. Here we go, modified, hold. Ready, set, go. Shoulders pull down and back, elbows under the wrist. Your tailbone is not up, tuck it under, pull the belly button in. Your neck is fully extended, not hanging down, okay? Your eyes can be down or take a look in the, at the camera. Hello. Just squeeze, suck it up. Imagine someone standing on your back. Hold them up. Hold them. You gotta squeeze hard to brace. Gently release. Very good. So the next, number two, plank, knee lift. So you alternate the knees up, side side. Remember. It should not feel easy. You wanna lift up and squeeze everything, fully extend. Ready, set, go. So I lift up, press through the heel, squeeze your glute, lower down gently, switch. As you extend that leg, you're sucking the abs in even more. Inhale, exhale.
Your hips should not be moving while you're doing this. I lift my knee up and I press the heel away. Last one. Relax. Cobra stretch. I don't know about you, but my upper rectus abdominis is feeling it. So we have plank, knee lift. Both knees. If you want to do a plank hold, feel free to do it. Or one of the other modifications we've already shown. Ready? Set. Go. Lift. Lift. Squeeze your tush. Press through the heels. Press and squeeze. Go at your own pace. Woo. Pull those shoulders down away from your ears. Finish your last one. Relax. Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness that was the last one there. Flip over. We have our supine plank. Hold. Okay. Let me get my. And keep falling down. Here we go. Supine plank. Just lift and hold. Face up. Raise it. Go. Do you forget? Just lift and hold. Open the chest. Keep trying to press up higher, higher. Lift the hips up, squeeze your glutes. Press your whole foot into the mat, floor. Put your toes free to wiggle. Feet are about hip distance apart, not wider. My wrists are in a position, my hands, that is comfortable for me. Not painful. And relax. Woo! Number two. Not number two, actually, but you know what I mean. Second exercise dealing with the supine plank position. So lift and lower the hips. Get ready, supine plank. Lift, hold, go. Lower the hips. Squeeze up as high as you can. Now your upper back, you should be squeezing the shoulder blades together as you lift, right? That's gonna drive the hips up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. It's gonna help open up your chest. Get some range of motion through the shoulders. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Yes, it feels good. Finish your last one and relax. What's next? Supine, plank, march, okay? This is the last one and then we go to our tabletop knee drops. Ready? Supine plank position. Lift, hold. Good, march. Take your time, keep resetting. Each time those hips drop down. It's not easy for me either. I'm still, I still got a ways to go improving what I see in the mirror. That's why I do this, mainly because I love fitness. Uh, finish one more, but I like the results. And relax. Woo. Yes! Okay, so now we have um, tabletop knee drops. Right or left, you choose which side. Okay, all the way down. Legs up, feet flexed. Same side, don't switch sides. We go, right, we want to max out this side. Ready? Set, go. Remember, both shoulders, ugh, stay down. We try to keep these knees together. Right when we get here, they wanna come apart. Keep them together. That may, me, may mean that you need to decrease range of motion. I'm super tight on this side, so this is about it, and then my knees start to separate. So I gotta work on it. Oh, I gotta really think to keep those legs together. Finish your last one and release. Other side. Other side. Ready. Legs up. Set. Go. Knee drops. Opposite side. 
So this side's a little more open. I can go lower, keeping the knees together. We all have a good side and a side that needs to play catch up. It's just that you need to know yours and then pay closer attention to the side that needs a little more love. Whew. Stretch. Ugh. Finish your last one and then relax. Man, that's two sets down. We got one more to go. It's so nice outside. Like, I'm not sweating. I'm sweating, I'm perspiring, but it's not like before. So I'm good with this. Here we go. Plank hold. Now remember, we're just finishing up. The first group of eight, we have eight more after this. A second group of exercises. Whew. So feel free to go to a full plank if you want. I'm sticking to the plan. Plank hold, modify. Ready, set, go. Pull the shoulders down, elbows under the wrist. I'm sorry, elbows under the shoulder. Tuck your tailbone between your legs, pull the ribs in. Every time you exhale, squeeze tighter. Try to get tighter and tighter in that midsection. You should have a little bit of a shaking going on, feeling it. Finish your last one. And release. Good. Plank. Knee lift. Singles. Ready. Set. Go. Remember, lift the knee, press back through your heel. Fully extend that leg. Give that glute time to fully engage. As you're doing that, lift, rib cage. Exhale, pull the belly button in. Rectus abdominis, the upper portion should be whew, burning. Finish your last one and relax. This is where that cobra stretch feels good. All right, press your hips down, scoop the chest up. Very nice. Here we go. <laughs> last plank. Knee lifts, both up and down. Ready? Set, squeeze, go. Lift and lower. Drive the heels back and squeeze. Inhale down, exhale, come up. Keep going. Keep going. As you exhale, you want to pull the shoulders down. Make everything engage. Hang in there. Finish your last one. Relax. Woo. Very nice. Flip over. Let's get a low back stretch in real quick. Hug the knees to chest. Oh, gently rock side to side. If you need a stretch elsewhere, please do it. Then jump back in. Supine plank. So remember, you're here. Supine plank. Lift and hold. Ready? Go. Lift and hold. Feet are about hip distance apart. Your goal is to keep the shoulders down and back. Lift. Your head is resting on a pillow. Lift up. If you need to take a break, sit down, get out of it, and come back again. Keep driving the hips up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. And release. Okay, like this arm under me, under me is like shaking. I don't know if you can see it, Ugh, but it's shaking. Okay, supine plank, lift and lower the hips down, up. Remember, you're trying to exhale everything out of the top and get a full extension because it feels good to open up the front side. Ready, set, go. There you go. Inhale down, exhale up. I need you to squeeze your glutes tighter. Drive your hips to the ceiling, to the sky. Woo. Come on. 
are your shoulders doing? They are active. They're squeezing behind you. Back. Keep it tight. You're going to feel your shoulder blades, uh, chest open up. Finish your last one. Relax. Woo. Okay. So now we have the supine plank march. Okay. March. Guess what? I'm so excited because we're almost ready to round two. The second group of exercises. So here we go. Supine. March. Ready. Go. Lift. Up. It's not easy. I got a lot of legs to <laughs> lift. One's leg and some other parts. Remember, uh, reset. I don't know about you, but my hips, they want to go toward the mat. Gravity is helping to suck them down. All of my arms are shaking. I'm weebling, wobbling. Finish your last one. Uh, and relax. Thank you. Go ahead, rotate those wrists out. Okay. So next we have um, tabletop knee drops, right? Or one side only, then we'll do the other side. So this is our last minute before we switch. Woo. Here we go, legs up, arms out to the side, feet are flexed, press your back into the mat, right? To brace, go. One side only. Let me start with my good side. If you need to advance this, just straighten your legs. You can straighten one of them, the top one, okay? If I straighten it, then my range of motion is less, so I'm not ready. Keep it going. I apologize. Finish your last one and release. Pull up my pants, make sure I'm not showing y'all too much. Just want to show you what you came here for. Core work. Other side. Ready? Set. Go. See, already they start off separated. So I got to focus. might be your good side. I don't know. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Whew. Think about pressing your lower back uh, into the mat as you're pulling up. You're trying to reconnect that lower back to the mat. Squeeze those legs together. Finish your last one and release. Whew. Feel free to just hang out here for a moment. We're about to... Um, we're throwing away those eight exercises, yeah? Okay, so that's at about, what, 12, 15 minutes right there. So second set. Face up, we have straight leg, six inch hold. You may not be able to hold that six inches, it might be a little higher, but it's at a level where you feel engaged, okay? So you can start with the legs here. Feel free to place the hands or arms right under the hips. And then you wanna lower them down where you feel the abs engage, okay? You don't want to hold them like this. Okay, you want to keep your back on the mat. That means raise your legs up, keep your spine neutral, okay, engage. Don't let it arch up. Ready? Legs up, lower and hold. Come on. Keep that midsection flat, 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 flat. Can you modify? Yeah, you can bend the knees and lower, right? Or keep them straight. Maybe you're, maybe here is a challenge. I don't know. It's up to you. Feel where your abs engage and then hold it there. Make the legs long in that position if possible. Keep the chest lifted, shoulders down. Three, two, relax. Woo! 30 seconds. Yeah, that feels good. That's number one. Number two. We have scissor kicks, another favorite. Legs up, legs up. Okay, so your scissor kicks can be short or long, it's up to you. Again, hands under the hips. Here's your scissor kick, go. When I stretch my leg, I'm reaching it. Trying to touch the wall, come on. Once you can 
do that each time, feel free to speed up. Keep the chest open, shoulders down. Pull that belly button in. Reach, reach, and relax. I'm starting to feel it. Okay, so the next exercise, number three, for our second group, is double leg lowers. Looks like this. Timer has not started. Double leg lowers, down, scoop, lift, okay? Start with the legs up. Ready, sit, go. Lower, reach them out, suck the belly in, exhale. Inhale to reach, exhale, scoop. Now my shoulders, I wanna round up, but I wanna try to keep my chest open. And shoulders down and back, Woo. Inhale, exhale. Feel free to bend the knees. Oh man, reach, pull the belly in, squeeze. Last one, and relax. <laughs> you know, when I'm riding these, I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. When I start doing it, I'm like, why? Why, Pam? <laughs> All right, so next we have a bridge, lift, hold, okay? Look, look. Again, timer has not started. Feet are about hip distance apart. Try to get your heel, ankle, underneath the knee as, as close as you can, okay? So I wanna bridge up. So I, I walk my shoulders underneath me. Instead of them being kinda of here, I just kinda of walk them under to help support uh, my upper back. Now we wanna tuck the hips, squeeze, okay? Just up and hold. Ready, set, go. Keep your chin lifted out of your chest. Arms are long, reaching towards your heels. We're just holding. I want you to feel this stretch. Keep driving the hips up higher. Breathe. Every time you exhale, press up higher. Feel that long stretch. Last one, exhale and lower down. Woo, good job. So next, okay, we have bridge, lift, uh, pulses. So I'm gonna do pulses one way for about 15 seconds and then I'll switch and do a pulse with the legs open. So first, legs together, pulse, and then all you're gonna do is open and pulse, squeezing your tush together, yes? Yes, ready? Up and hold, now pulse. Press, 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 press. Dig your heels in and squeeze. Tighter, tighter. You're not trying to drop it all the way back to the mat. Stay up as high as you can, a little pulse. Now we pulse, the knees open. Hold and pulse. And really squeeze the glutes, knees apart. Belly button, suck it down. Ribs, hide them. Chin out of chest. And your last one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And relax. Ooh, baby. You should have felt that. So I did. I'm going to do a little figure four stretch. Oh, both sides. Good. It's just the first set. So you probably really didn't even feel it. But you know what you got to look forward to. Now we have a reverse crunch. Okay, several options for the reverse crunch. Okay, you can start here, legs together. You can cross at the ankle. The further you take the legs up, the harder you make the lift. Again, I want you to try to lift and then stop, not swing. Don't use momentum to kick up, okay? Ready? Legs up, choose your level, where do you wanna be? Set. Ready, set, go, reverse crunches. So this is working uh, rectus abdominis, but the lower portion, belly button and below. If you're crossing at the ankles, uh, squeeze those ankles, feet together. I'm gonna switch. 
Your goal is to get that tailbone off the mat. Exhale, inhale. Finish your last one. Relax, easy. You got this. Two more exercises before we repeat from the top. Are you ready? So next we have a full sit up with a slow release. Feet flat. Arms up. If you want to pull over reach, that's fine. Oh, that feels good to my shoulders. Otherwise, it's a full sit up. But I want you to take your time coming down to the mat. Yes? You got it. Ready. Set. Go. Full sit up. Slowly lower. Full sit up. Slowly lower. If you have trouble getting up, feel free to walk the feet out or just come up as high as you can come. You want to add the reach over. Feel free, it's a good stretch. Oh, for those shoulders. Slow to the bottom. Finish your last one. Slowly lower. And relax, Woo, very nice. Okay, this is the last one, and then we started work from the top. So we have crisscross. Single, single, double. And this time I really will do single, single, double. I think on another one of my core, I said single, single, double, but I, then I just did singles. But I really will do single, single, double this time. Okay, legs up. So preview, single, single, double. So it's a double pulse. Ready, set, legs up, go. Single, single, double, single, single. Double. The straight leg is reaching away. Woo. Keep it going. Pull the ribs down. Single, single, double. It's burning. Single, single, double. Keep going, we're almost there. Woo. And relax. Oh. Oh, very nice. Feel free to stretch, right? Extend everything out. Deep breath. Whatever stretch you need. Here we go. From the top. Uh, so we have straight leg hold. 30 seconds. Legs up. Lower as close to the floor as you can or ground or mat. And hold. Go. Remember, shoulders down, away from the ears. Keep the chest up. Let's suck that belly in. Long legs are nice and straight. Whatever level you are, try to straighten them 